Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. I want to talk a little more about this 8.2 magnitude quake off the coast of Alaska that occurred last night. I woke up this morning and, and saw this on my phone. It occurred at 11.15 p.m. Pacific time. Again, off the coast of the Aleutian Island chain near the Aleutian Trench. You can see now there's a whole slew of aftershocks following the very large 8.2 magnitude earthquake. I'm going to talk about why it did not create a tsunami you would think an earthquake that strong would generate a very large tsunami I'm going to explain in this video why it did not create a tsunami and I'm going to show you something else very fascinating regarding this large 8.2 magnitude earthquake that literally shook the entire northern hemisphere I've got some video footage of a storm that was rolling through Wisconsin last night some incredible lightning sent in by Derek M out of Ellsworth Wisconsin Wisconsin. They kind of forecasted the possibility of a derecho moving through the upper Midwest last night into the early morning hours today. There was storm activity, as you can see. You can tell by this video, there was a lot of energy in the sky above Wisconsin. And this video footage was taken somewhere around 9, 10 o'clock last night. Here's what's left of the storm. It did not officially graduate up to derecho status. In order to become a derecho, there has to be wind damage associated with the large storm and it has to stay together organized for at least 240 miles and that's according to the National Weather Service criteria you can find here linked below in the description box and there has to be a consecutive 240 mile trail of wind damage and there was not associated with this storm it was close but it did not quite meet derecho standards and this is all that's left of the storm system as it's moving through the central plains diving down through illinois and indiana right now as i do this video but again it did not officially become a derecho thank you guys now over to the website quick look at the schumann resonance we've had an absence of data lately and i don't know why there's some missing today and there was some missing over here on the 27th into the 28th i have no idea why that occurs guys got a little bit of background noise in the schumann other than that that, pretty quiet. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Right now, what's glaringly obvious on most of the seismographs over here, should be on all of them, honestly, is the big red signature. That's from the 8.2 magnitude earthquake over in Alaska last night. That rang seismographs around the world. Here are the global seismographs over here at the USGS, and I'm talking all the way from Alaska obviously to Barbados to Honduras over into China Turkey New Mexico Philippines Armenia uh, you name it Norway Hawaii another one out of Norway all the way down into Antarctica Western Australia Japan Midway Islands Spain Russia here's the Palmer Station Seismo down in Antarctica another one here in the Southern Pacific Hawaii, Cook Islands, South Dakota, all the way across the board. These things are completely jet black. And that tells me this thing was at least an 8.2 magnitude earthquake. That earthquake was so strong, it triggered buoys in two hemispheres all the way over here into the Southern Caribbean off the coast of New York. There's three buoys over here, coastal New York, off the coast of the Bahamas, and down here in the Southern Caribbean. Energy from the primary wave was detected by at least three buoys over here, off the west coast of the United States, all the way across the northern ring of fire, clear over to northern Japan, spanning an area of over 7,000 miles. 20 buoys were triggered in two hemispheres. Once again, spanning just over 7,000 miles. That is unprecedented. I don't think I've ever seen that many at one time. So it was at least an 8.2 magnitude. There are still aftershocks occurring right now as I do this video. Some aftershocks have been as strong as 6.1. So pretty big event last night off the coast of Alaska. And the reason there was no tsunami, there's two kinds of earthquakes. There are vertical slip earthquakes and horizontal slip earthquakes. When there's a horizontal slip earthquake off the coast and the water, 
it usually does not trigger a tsunami. And that's the type of event we had here, a horizontal slip side to side. If it were to go up and down, a vertical slip earthquake, then it would have definitely created a tsunami. But considering the strength of this earthquake at an 8.2 magnitude, and there was no tsunami to speak of, I think maybe a few inches, that was definitely a horizontal slip earthquake. If that would have been a vertical, once again, there would have been a very large tsunami. But thankfully, there was not. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos sent in from all around the world. Donna F. from right out here in Mesa, Arizona. Spectacular sunset from Mesa. Not sure if this is a sunset or a sunrise. Dale out of Atlanta, Georgia, seeing yet another bright red sun. This is unenhanced. This is exactly the way I received the photo. More than likely, this was influenced by the Sahara sand down here in Georgia as it's slowly but surely making its way up into the mainland. Hanover, Germany, photo sent in by Suzanne. Looks like a portal up in the sky. Very unique cloud configuration, whatever it may be. Sophia out of Corpus Christi, Texas. This was a large water spout. Spotted this the other day. She sent in three photos of that spectacular water spout near Corpus Christi. Next photo is here, sent in by Sherry out of Durham, North Carolina. Almost give due meaning to the word low pressure. I mean, these clouds are about as low low as they can go without sitting on the ground and they were very photogenic excellent photos by sherry out of durham north carolina that is one ominous looking sky photo here sent in by scott s out of oklahoma very intense double decker rainbow there was a photo and he also took a video of the entire double decker rainbow above oklahoma scott and jasmine shared this photo out of foil oklahoma of a big bright beam spanning across the sky Photo here by Wendy out of North Carolina of a fiery orange sunrise. Photos here sent in by Tanya out of Hay River, Canada. This is of a roll cloud that was spanning as far as she could see in both directions, literally horizon to horizon. And this was a day when the sky was completely filled with wildfire smoke. Photo here sent in by Nick S. out of Mount Lemon, Arizona, down near Tucson. Yet another double-decker rainbow in a pink sky. Stephen G., not sure of the location, but you can see this lonesome some little patch of color up in the sky kind of looks like a partial rainbow but there is no rainbow just some very colorful clouds up in the sky all by themselves great job guys keep the photos coming if you have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com all of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery at the website and sometimes i'll use them in a video just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there